Nick Saban's a f- trash can and washed. Oh. Yeah, dude, Nick Saban's so bad. <laughs> oh, he's eight and two. He f- sucks. <laughs> like. All right, let's move into the college football segment of our show, brought to you by Manscaped. We're going to do some college football factor caps, do it, and don't forget to keep your balls groomed, you yeah. know, with the Manscaped 4.0. And your butt. They want the, and your butt. You can get in every hard-to-reach crevice, but we'll talk about that later. I like crevices. Yeah, we're big <laughs> crevice fans here on yeah. Caps Off. All right, ready? Factor cap. Factor cap. Georgia will repeat. Um, who? Uh, this you, baby. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming for it. We're coming for it, baby. Let's Fort Worth, Texas is Texas, coming for the ride. Natty this year. Oh, Texas, let's ride. I'll say fact. Let's ride. I'll say fact. Setson Bennett, just in every big game he ever plays, steps up and is that f-ing dude. He's so good. Yeah, but he's ugly. No, no. He, <laughs> I he's, disagree. He's I was shocked. Looking. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing, too. And then when... Uh, they what happened? They all like leaked. Uh, Tennessee leaked his phone number. Yeah, yeah. And he did the celebration call. Yeah, and I was the, like, that was kind of hot. That was sick. <laughs> that was Dude, I, hot. I saw I saw some uh, some edit before the season started. It was Stetson Bennett if he had a sleeve. Oh. And I was like, yo, low key that boy looks. Well, sleeves good. E- easily give you like an extra two and a half points. It helps. Two point eight. Yeah, yeah. So do you think anybody else could win the championship? I'd say if someone could compete Georgia? with Georgia, it'd be. Michigan or Ohio State, whoever wins Hell that game. No. You think? Michigan is one of the most complete teams in the country on both sides of the ball. Harbaugh. Ohio State's got the star power with C.J. Stroud. TCU, I'm sorry, Texas, they ain't doing shit. TCU um, running this shit, bro. You know, I could For possibly, Fort Worth. if Oregon makes it, mm. Bo Nix is playing out of his mind. Bro, lately. he's coming off a game against Colorado. I know they just they lost to Georgia by a million to start the year, but they're a different team now, so I could maybe see that. I'll say Cap just because I don't have a crystal ball and I can't say that they're going to repeat. Mm. I think Ohio State's the only team that can compete with them right now, like, in a, you know, if they were to happen to play. Tennessee <laughs> let me down. Bama, Nick Saban's a f- trash can and washed. Oh. Yeah, dude, Nick Saban's so bad. <laughs> uh, he's 8-2. and two. He f- sucks. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. His career he, is if terrible. If Zoo was 8-2, and two, I would be like, Eli Drinkwitz, you are my f- savior. <laughs> I love you. I, I don't know. But, I'll say Cap. All right, who the that's knows. fine. All right, factor cap. Here's a nice one. We're going to look ahead for a second, and this is a little bit of a bold prediction, but I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> I want to hear what you got to say. You hear me? Factor cap. Bryce Young will be the first overall pick in the NFL draft. Um, well, it's between. I'm nervous because I know what happens with Alabama quarterbacks. It's between Bryce but Young, exactly. Jalen Hurts, and Alabama. Tua in Alabama. Yeah, but Jalen Hurts went to Oklahoma after. Right, so he's really right. Oklahoma but product. But Tua's right now an outlier he's Texas currently. Guy. So That's Texas, right. Yeah. That's I'll right. So it's the difference. Uh, like is if Bryce I put Young him, from Texas? Who's no, the other no, options? No. Who are the other guys? So CJ Stroud. Yeah, it's Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, uh, Will Levis, the guy that puts mayonnaise in his coffee. Uh, what position uh, is he? Kentucky Definitely quarterback. Not going and first. Will Anderson, who's mm-hmm. been the, the last two years the best defensive player in the country. Puts yeah, but a linebacker's not going to go coffee. first overall. It depends on the team. Like, like can, Yeah, can we just throw that one out? Will Levis, he, he's not going one. Yeah, bro, if you put mayo in your coffee, I'm sorry. I love mayonnaise. It is the best condiment to dip your french fries in, and I will stand by that. That's weird. But if you put that shit in your f***ing coffee. That is weird as f- I think it's probably a fact that Bryce Young will be the first overall pick the in Lions. the draft. It's the Lions or Texans or whoever the hell. Packers when they trade up. Panthers. I mean, all those teams need a quarterback. The Bucks. So it's going to be a quarterback. It won't be Will Anderson. It's going to be either Stroud or Bryce. And I'll, mm, you know what? Huh. You did, what? What if, do if, I know? But if CJ Stroud balls out in like yeah, the playoffs and everything, he'll go one. Let me answer your question. It's going to be a cap because it's going to be, like you said, Bryce Young or CJ Stroud, whoever plays better down the stretch. And I'm worried about Alabama quarterbacks in the league. I Even, disagree with playing better down the stretch. You think Bryce Young is still the guy? Well, like, look what we've seen in the past. We've seen Deshaun Watson win a national championship, and then all of a sudden Mitch Trubisky comes out of nowhere. Well, that made <laughs> that was and then crazy. He gets taken ahead of him. Patrick Mahomes, who played at Texas Tech and couldn't f- win anything, literally g- the Chiefs trade up to go get him. So it's, I just think the, the draft analysis process is so f- weird. It's and not really out about no- how you perform. It's more yeah. about how you're – your, it's about your what you skill put, and like what you can do in your scouting and, 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 and how you are scouting ceiling. basically and what you yeah. put in your coffee apparently and then and then there's <laughs> then there's gonna be a guy with it that does an interview and then a team's gonna be like oh like he's great he leader doesn't, he doesn't have a work ethic and then he's gonna fall out of nowhere like yeah. justin fields and another guy's gonna be a great leader and then mac jones is gonna be drafted in the top 15 so yeah, I, I don't really know it's really hard it's tough whatever i like it you know what uh we did this weekend 
we went to a Georgia bar. We were talking about Georgia before, and we almost got people to shave their heads uh, for really? the national championship. Legitimately so, just shave it on the spot? Uh, yeah. uh, oh, almost. They, well, they, they, uh, they said, we said, would you shave your head for a national championship? And they were like, yeah. And then Adam whipped out the Manscaped 4.0, oh, and, like, and he ah, was like, well, uh, maybe, but... Yes. Yeah, so well, that, technically, however, doesn't guarantee it. So however, we right? Did. That's exactly what they said. They were like, we "Doesn't guarantee it," but they would. They said they would do it if it happens. They would get the manscaped, and they would do it. Well, speaking of manscaping, manscaping <laughs> is about maintaining body hair and odor to help you feel clean, confident, and ready for anything. If you don't have one already, there are legitimate health benefits of investing in a body hair grooming tool. If you have one, I guarantee you that there's a better way to trim or shave your body hair with manscaped. Make sure you always have the right tool for the job with the perfect package. 4.0, an all-in-one essentials kit, Ooh. which is which is right here. Right I don't here. know if anyone... Get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts from Manscaped at manscaped.com slash game day. We got one more factor cap? Damn right. Factor cap. Okay. Also, go to Manscaped. Go to Manscaped. My balls have never looked cleaner. <laughs> oh, they're amazing. Factor cap. A Pac-12 team will make the playoffs. Hmm. Cap. I no, but you I will make... say I will say fact. Oregon will make the college football playoffs. Cali, bro. Oregon? Over Oregon will... Yeah, if you over USC. Oregon will make the college football playoff, and here's why. TCU is going to lose to Texas this weekend. They're going to have one loss, and it's going to be a worse team. No, it's okay if they do. You know, Texas. Texas well, Texas, Texas. Oh, that's a good point about Texas. Yeah. They're going to go in 11-1 and to the Pac-12 championship against USC or Utah, whoever it is, and they're going to win that. They're going to be 12-1, and and their only loss of the year will be against Georgia, who's the number one team in the country. I don't know how you don't put them in. It's a pretty compelling argument. I don't know how you don't put them in. If your only loss is in the number one team in the country, you win – your conference, and I don't think TCU is going to go undefeated. So, yeah, well, based off TCU not going undefeated, I could see it. Though uh, maybe if L- if LSU somehow upsets Georgia in the uh, or Ole Miss, whoever makes it out of the SEC West in the SEC championship game, That's a then you story. probably put in another SEC team, and then it's real f- up, which see, I would love to see. But like, you see, I'll say facts, but I go with USC because if USC wins out and their only loss is against Utah. Like, yes, Georgia's a better opponent. If, you, if Utah has one loss in the Pac-12, they're going to the conference championship instead of USC. That is true. That is true. I, I think it's honestly between the Colorado Buffs and, and Mizzou, man. Yeah. In terms of who gets that fourth playoff. Spot. Yeah, it really is. Obviously. It's it's really tough. You also, know? Hofstra. Oh. Yeah, Hofstra is not in good football. Buffalo. Let's go, Buffs. Do you think Georgia's going to repeat as national champions this year? Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and go to manscaped.com slash gameday.